This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Most of us have heard about a recent report that showed that more than a third of all fish sold in the U.S. is mislabeled. Dr. Puckett from Complete Family Medicine is here this morning to tell us more about this in our Medical Minute segment. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Well, there was recent reports that came out that saying, you know, here you are thinking you're buying, you know, tuna or, you know, tilapia or flounder. You know, I don't know my fishes, but, or my fish. Um, but there, some of them have been, been mislabeled and you say that that could possibly be dangerous. Yeah, there was a study done where a group mm -hmm. actually took 12,000 pieces of fish from 21 different states. So it's a pretty broad study and they took samples of that and they actually did DNA testing to determine if what the fish was labeled at the counter was actually what you got. Uh -huh. And it, it varied anywhere between 25 and uh, as high as 75 percent of the fish were mislabeled, but the average was at least a third of the, all the fish uh, available out there was mislabeled. All right, and um, so with that being said, uh, with it being mislabeled or potentially dangerous, w when it comes to fish and fish is fish, why does it matter? Well, I think there's two primary reasons. First, for pregnant or breastfeeding ladies, um, the, the uh, mercury content of fish is very important. And so there's a variety of different uh, types of fish that uh, have the, uh, the that that have mercury levels that vary. If mm -hmm. you think about the bigger the fish, the longer its lifespan, the more opportunity it has to accumulate mercury, and so those fish tend to have a higher level of mercury. Um, and so, if you think you're getting a fish, if you're if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, and you think you're getting a low mercury containing fish, and it's actually something uh, that maybe uh, grouper or shark that has high levels of, of mm -hmm. mercury, then it could be potentially dangerous. So. We, you really want to make sure that when you're pregnant and breastfeeding that, you, that you're getting two to three servings of fish, no more in a week's time, and that you're trying as best you can to keep that down towards the uh, low mercury containing foods. Mm -hmm. um, second uh, primary item is the omega-3 content of fish. We all know that we eat fish because it's healthy, mm -hmm. and it, that's really that omega-3 is where the, the health value comes in. And so you want to be able to get a, a fish that's represented that you know contains a high level because just like with mercury levels varying, so does the amount of omega-3 vary. Okay. So when it comes to fish oil supplements, are, do, should we take those? Should we stay away from them? Is there Well, it's, fish oil uh, supplements are a lot like fish. Okay. Um, depending upon the purity and who it comes from. So I recommend to my patients that they get a, a well-branded, not maybe not the cheapest off of the shelf mm -hmm. uh, fish oil, and uh, that it's coming from a lab where it's independently tested and analyzed because you don't want to have any contaminants and you want the omega-3, the EPA and the DHA, those good long chain uh, fatty acids that are healthy for us to be in the in the appropriate content and so uh, I, I think that they're a great supplement to fish mm -hmm. um, but I really encourage that all of us to, to that you know we could eat more fish okay and you said about two to three servings for, for pregnant and breastfeeding okay. women a week uh, the rest of us can have um, much more than that five to eight servings that would be appropriate okay and when it comes to kids what is the serving recommendation for that because I know that I read a recent study about possibly some tuna having too much mercury and for kids that is not good. Yeah, uh, it, it, you know, if, as long as you know what you're getting mm -hmm. and, and, and if, if, if we're doing light, what's called light chunk tuna mm -hmm. in the can in, in, a, in, in a water, a spring water, the, content, the mercury content of that is consistently very low. Okay. So you can think of that as safe, but otherwise if you're, if you're, feeding, a, if, if you're feeding your children a, until their, their brain's done developing, um, which the majority of that's done by the end of toddlerhood, so, uh, you know, a couple to three servings of fish is appropriate for them. If you know what you're getting, you can probably go a little broader. Okay. And uh, speaking of fish, I know that we talked about, you know, serving and stuff like that and, and pregnant women. What about when it comes to sushi and raw fish? Well, um, you know, the, the, actually 74% of all the sushi meat that was analyzed was found to be inappropriately labeled. Interesting. And so it was, the, it was the most variable because you're getting a small sliver of something. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to know exactly what it is. Um, sushi uh, prepared appropriately that's been stored and smoked, uh, you, it really has very little health risks. Okay. Um, but the problem is, is that it's oft, uh, there's often a delay somewhere in the chain from when that fish is caught till that raw fish gets in mm -hmm. front of you. And so you just, you know, I, I still get a little bit nervous, but right. uh, as long as, as, long as it's, it comes to you well prepared and well presented, then you should be fine. Okay. 
And so with information that you gave us about uh, mercury content and omega-3s, when you go to the fish counter, what do you usually get? Well, I, I like you, I'm not very much of a fish connoisseur. I, <laughs> I eat whatever they put in front of me. But, uh -huh. um, I, you know, I think that salmon is mm -hmm. easily available. It's fairly uh, low priced. It's even available in a can. Okay. Um, and so sam salmon is a, is a great choice. High omega-3, low um, in uh, mercury. Um, also mackerel, easily available. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, light can light light tuna um, is, uh, is another good choice. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We'll post all of this information on our website at heartlineconnection.com, as well as Dr. Puckett's information with Complete Family Medicine, and we'll be right back.